Hi, it's Julie at Love's Beginning with a message called Joyful Simplicity. How are you going to see someone as they are when you're busy defending who they aren't? Whenever you are busy judging or analyzing someone as separate, whether the judgment seems to be positive or negative, you have lost sight of who they are. Having lost sight of who they are, you have lost sight of who you are because you are the same forever. If approval is valuable, then of course it's going to hurt when someone over there seems to have access to more of it. But if approval is just another facet of the nightmare with no true quantity, then what is valuable is something else. That something else is something everyone has equal access to right now. You have given ego the job of distracting you from this something real, so ego uses hypnotic fantasy to keep your attention on the unreal. It's not your enemy, it's just your fantasy, doing the job you gave it. Whenever your time-space fantasy seems to disturb you today, remember that it's just doing the job you gave it. No one else gave your fantasy this job. You are the one who gave the fantasy its job. Your fantasy has a new job, and that is to become the dream that escorts you out of dreaming. What you made does not have to be demolished. It gets used on behalf of all. Think of a body part that you would change if you could. It seems to lack value now, but if you could bring value to it, then it would appear changed. This is your idea about form. You believe that you know what forms are valuable and what forms lack value, and you believe it is your job to control these forms in some way. You always have the option of putting all forms perceived under the shared and benign control of all beings unified. This is also known as thy will. Thy will truly is thine. It is the unified will for peace of all beings across time and space. You can entrust your fantasy to your own true will, the one you share with all. Let's look at the idea of generational curses. There's an idea here that by healing myself, I will end a legacy of pain. Good, right? Only it depends on perceiving the self as other. If you continue to perceive the shared self as fictionally fractured, There's no real healing. You have no grounds to judge any you perceive as other, positively or negatively, as they appear to be engaged with the idea of healing. They're simply your equals and your helpful mirrors. On this basis, put the curse in your lap. You are the one who chooses a cursed outlook or not. The decision is always yours, and you are victim to no one and nothing. As you are able to see all you call other in this way, you can meet them now as what they are. Everyone you meet or think of is love itself. Only you have projected something fictional and other upon them. There is no need to fear the projection. Projections can be undone. Now is always the moment for projections to be undone, and it only requires your willingness. Remember how simple this is and you will approach everything with a joyful simplicity. Our joy belongs to all, and for that we are eternally grateful. Because you and all are joy, we are grateful for you. Thanks for listening.